Hey everybody, this is Steph. How are y'all doing today? Hopefully y'all are doing fantastic. I'm coming to you today with a skincare video. I wanted just to give you my skincare routine of what I do on a normal morning basis. Um, right now, I've cleansed my skin and I love this stuff. This is the Pacifica Coconut Milk Cream to Foam Face Wash. It's supposed to remove makeup, cleanse, and de-stress. And it has um, coconut and vanilla plus bubbles. And it's for all skin types, especially the stressed skin types. This is sulfate free, 100% vegan, cruelty free, and it's five ounce container. I get this at Ulta. They usually have Pacific on sale a lot of the time, but without it being on sale, it's $10. It lasts a really long time. I really, really love this. I've had multiples of these and I just, I really love them. You only need a little bit and cleanse your face. Well, I like for my face to feel cleansed. Um, it doesn't dry your face out. I just already used it. It doesn't dry your face out that much, but it still, it does have those bubbles. It does cleanse, but it being sulfate free, it's not super, super drying, but I really, really, really enjoy this. So this is a win for me. So started off with my face wash. After my face wash, I like to use a toner and I have two that I usually go between. I will use the Shea Moisture Matcha Green Tea and Probiotics Soothing Toner Hydrating Mist. And this is super easy. You just spray this on. I really like this. I've been through multiples of these. It's really good. It's refreshing. And it says right here it's for redness prone skin. Um, that isn't really not applicable to me, but I still really like it. But what I'm going to use right now in front of y'all um, is another one that has matcha green tea, but this is from Product Junkie Naturals. And this is her Aloe Cider Honey Toner. And you can see the color of it. The color of that being like that is from the matcha green tea. And usually um, once it's sitting, um, most of the green tea particles will like sink to the bottom and you'll have to shake it up. But since I brought it over here, I kind of accidentally shook it up. I should have let y'all see that. Oh, well, sorry. But the ingredients, they're super basic. They are aloe vera juice, raw cider, raw apple cider vinegar, raw honey, and matcha green tea. It's like, what? four ingredients super super basic so what i do with this is i'll put some on a cotton round i'll just squirt a little bit and it comes off looking like that kind of greenish i'll just start spreading that on my face and then i'll go down my neck and all that stuff so that's in there that's sinking in the skin that's drying that's doing all of its properties it's supposed to be doing so after I do this you know I'll let that sink in kind of dry in while I'm like getting my other stuff together I like to use a facial serum and what I'm using right now is the retinol anti wrinkle facial serum and you can get this from Sally I'm not sure where else they sell this brand um, but I get mine from Sally and it comes in a dropper dispenser. All right. It looks lotiony and some serums like kind of look clear or gelish type form, but this looks lotiony and I'll just like squirt some right at the top. Like this is usually how I do it. And then I'll spread that out. All right. Screw the top back on. I'll just get that all up into my skin I'll even do the top of my eyelid and this absorbs really quickly I use different serums this is really currently what I'm using now so it's not like oh I'm in love with it it's amazing but I do like it I do like it and I enjoy it okay so next on my skin to-do list is some type of eye cream or serum and I have three that I'm kind of going back and forth using now one is the Mario Badesco hyaluronic eye cream <clears throat> and it looks like this well y'all probably can't even see how that looks maybe but it just looks like a cream and then I also have the ordinary skincare caffeine solution five percent and it says it reduces appearance of eye contour pigmentation and puffiness and this is more like a 
I wouldn't say gel, but you see the dispenser and you don't even need a whole squirt. Like you just need what's barely on that little tip right there. I mean, cause this stuff is really thick and potent. And then I also go between using the Shea Moisture Masha Green Tea and Pro Probiotics Soothing Eye Cream. This one is super moisturizing. Um, it also says um, redness prone skin, but my under eyes aren't really red, but I really, really like this one. So what I'm gonna use today, I'm just gonna go with the Mario, Mario Badescu. I'm gonna take a little bit on my ring finger and just like tap that in and rub it. I'm gonna get my eyelid, that's what I always do. Gentle tapping, rubbing, not too much rubbing, but more tapping and some rubbing. Get that all moisturized in. Okay. And then next, after my eye cream, that gets all in there, gets moisturized. I will pick out a moisturizer, a face lotion. And right now I'm loving the Miel Pomegranate and Honey Illuminating Face Lotion with SPF 15. It says it moisturizes and it hydrates the skin, leaving skin smooth and soft. And it has an SPF 15, like I mentioned. It says illuminating with illuminating. You would think it has like some type of shimmer. It does not. Um, I don't see that. But you see, this is like pretty much going. I have another one. And then I also like the Olay Complete Daily Moisturizer with Sunscreen Broad Spectrums SPF 30. This one's a sensitive skin. I don't necessarily have sensitive skin, but this is the one that I have right now. But I'm going to go ahead with the, the Miel one. There's barely nothing in there. And I'm going to get enough. That's usually about enough. Put some on my forehead. Forehead's shining, so y'all might can't see where I put it. <laughs> there you go. Okay, and then I'm going to start to rub that in, making sure I get everywhere. I do kind of go back over my eyes just a little bit so they can also get the benefits of that SPF. Make sure I get this forehead because it's the first thing that the sun sees. <laughs> all right, let that sink all in and moisturize in. It's important to get your neck too. Okay, y'all, the last thing I use, I have to have some, some, some type of moisturizer for my lips. So I'm using the EOS. Well, this one smells like grapefruit. It, yeah, it's pink grapefruit. And it's the EOS Active Broad Spectrum SPF 30 sunscreen one. So get that all in my lips. And then what I would do next was oh, put on some makeup and try to look fabulous. But this is me makeup free, just skincare infused. Um, all these products I love. I love them all. Um, they do a great job for my skin. Um, the other thing I want to mention that's important for your skin though y'all drinking your water having your water intake i got my big old cup of water right here so just make sure you're drinking your water using proper skin care um so your skin can reach its full and its best potential everybody's skin is different but just i'm just trying to do the best for my skin all right hope you guys enjoyed my video if you have a comment that you want to include please leave the comment below and like and i'll see you at the next